Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. I was looking for an old piece of video the other day for something new that I'm making, and I didn't find what I was looking for, but I did find this plein air painting footage from some time in 2019, and it made me stop and think for a minute about the nature of landscape painting. This video isn't going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to make a landscape painting, but hopefully it might help you think about why you might want to make art in this way. This was painted and filmed in the back fields of the rented farmhouse where we lived in Cork Island last year. We've since had to move to a different rental house, thankfully in February this year, so it was just a regular moving nightmare rather than a pandemic moving nightmare. And we're now living about five minutes drive from this spot, somewhere in the landscape that I'm painting. We're not in a farmhouse anymore, so I can't just walk around empty fields whenever I want, but I can still see them in the distance from my window. I always wondered when I was a kid looking at art on people's walls or in the local gallery what the point of all those landscape paintings was. Like, why did all these artists choose to paint scenery or scenes from their lives? I didn't really know what to draw when I was a kid, I just knew that I loved paints and I would make something with them any chance that I got. What I'd end up painting almost every time was a little kid facsimile of what I saw in paintings around me. Two hills with a sunset slash sunrise in the middle. I remember being particularly proud of one of my million two hill sunset watercolour paintings one day and my dad saw it and he made a comment that I wasn't really expecting. He said some throwaway thing along the lines of, I don't know if it's really you. And at the time I was kind of taken aback because when you're 11 you don't really receive proper objective criticism on the things that you make. But it obviously stuck with me because I still remember it 30 years later and it really actually made me think hard about what I choose to put into my art. Now, I don't think of myself as a landscape painter. My elevator pitch artist bio is that I make art about the connections between science, space and storytelling. But I like to make art about other subjects as well because I enjoy variety. And so on this day, I went out into the backfield with some oil paints. I think it was a cadmium yellow, a Prussian blue, a lizard and crimson, some shade of brown and a white, and a brush, a rag, a palette knife, some medium, an easel and a board and I just painted what was in front of me. I didn't really have a plan, but because I have this YouTube channel, I filmed it thinking that maybe I'd do something with it one day. I didn't forget about the painting, which hangs here on the wall in my studio but I did forget about the video. It's easy to forget the things we do when we take our day-to-day -day life for granted, I guess.
When I think about that childhood question of why so many people paint landscapes now, I can put it into the context of why I was painting this landscape in 2019. My goal then was to try and paint the light as it moved. The colours across these hills and valleys constantly change as the sun moves around the horizon, and it was a challenge to try and capture that. I'd say I'm not sure why people paint landscapes from reference of places where they're not, but really, when I paint or draw pictures of outer space, I'm just painting a landscape of sorts. It's just a different land that I'll never actually be able to observe up close in person. When I make those images, I'm approaching the landscape from a different angle, where it's about imagination and ideas and hopes. It's an attempt to place myself in those landscapes so I can try and understand what something is like from a different perspective. With the painting in this video, this is an attempt to remember this moment, to find a place for myself in this country that I live in as an immigrant. If you couldn't tell from my accent, I wasn't born here in Ireland, but I've gone back to where I came from, so to speak. My ancestors moved from Ireland to Australia, they survived the famine, and then left in the hope of building a new life on the heels of the gold rush. It's one thing to look at a landscape or to photograph it in an instant, but it's another thing entirely to paint or draw that landscape. When I spend time outside in an environment like this, I find I look harder and I notice more things. When I pay more attention to everything around me as I create art, it becomes easier to remember a place. Making landscape paintings like this is not just about making something beautiful for people to look at and like on social media. Although, cough, please hit the like button and subscribe and stuff. But anyway, today in 2020, when I look back at this video, the painting is brought into a new light again. This painting is not just about remembering a place anymore, it's about sending myself back in time. Remembering what life was like before, and making a promise to myself to stay hopeful and keep making art like this, of the places around me, so that I can really remember and appreciate my experiences. After we moved from the house where I painted this in February, we flew to Australia at a point in time when we hadn't even finished unpacking our moving boxes yet. Somehow in retrospect we timed it perfectly, flying home to visit family and friends we hadn't seen in years right before the pandemic really took hold and we returned to Ireland on schedule without getting sick or having to change any flights. There were some friends we didn't get to visit, but unlike most people in 2020, for the first time in years, I actually got to celebrate my birthday with friends and family. 
We visited some places we know that have changed and some that never seem to change. Since we came back to Ireland, we've been in various stages of lockdown, going through a whole range of different limits on what we can and can't do at any given moment. Right now, Ireland is well and truly into our second spike of infections, and I wish our government would put tighter restrictions back onto us again. I know some people don't want to be in lockdown, but I find the idea of people dying and getting sick and being immunocompromised for life far worse than taking these temporarily difficult actions to try and avoid that. I think maybe the restrictions of a lockdown are easier for myself and my husband to cope with because we're immigrants. Because life is mostly like this anyway. I've worked for myself for several years now and there's no temptation to see family or friends when it's physically impossible. When we were moving out of the house that I'm painting in this picture, we were talking to our landlord about the move and the upcoming trip to Australia, and he appeared really taken aback when we talked about not having seen our family in years. Not having family or friends within a short distance was not something he could comprehend at all, and he just assumed, as most people do, that we would have family and friends available to help us move or just to visit. But life's not really like that when you move 17,445 kilometres from everything that you know. Yeah, we miss being able to travel to new places, which was one of the main reasons that we moved here in the first place. But watching myself from the past paint this picture gives me just a little bit of hope. It's a reminder of how things were once and how they will be again. Like the light that moves across this landscape, things will change. I don't know what form that change will take, whether things will get better or worse, but I can move with it and adapt. When I was a little kid, we had a TV show in Australia called Play School, and one of their sets was a bunch of different windows of different shapes, and they would choose a window to look through each episode. When I look at this painting now, it feels like one of those windows, like I'm looking back in time. And I think I finally understand why people paint landscapes. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did when I found this footage sitting on the computer the other day. If you like the painting and would like to support my channel, I've got a Patreon account and support at several of the higher levels gives you access to a high quality digital download of one artwork per month. If you're watching this in October 2020, this artwork is the current download. From November, I'll be listing the painting as a print on Redbubble, so if you can't get it from Patreon, you should be able to buy it there. Links for all the places you can find me will be in the description of this video.
like, subscribe, share and comment if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you with a new one soon. Cheers.